so excited that you are here today. We're gonna have a wonderful, wonderful chat. Um, uh, the topic for today is five reasons why you hate your job. And um, you know, I know it's something that a lot of people are struggling with, especially um, due to this new pandemic. And I'll just give you a little bit of a forewarning. We have construction happening outside of our home, just outside, you're doing a bunch of stuff. So if you hear equipment, that is construction. Disregard it, okay? Disregard. Again, the topic for today is five reasons why you hate your job. And it's like many things that we would think is tied to money, these five reasons are not, money is not one, or is not a part of these five reasons. So reason number one, why you, Samantha, or Joseph, um, Ben, Hillary, Suzanne, or Shelly, maybe we share the same name, hate your job, is that your skill sets don't match your current role. And uh, your skill set, you have two sets, or two different types of skill sets. You have your natural skill sets. It's just what you are born with. It's just, you were just very fortunate to be artistic or, you know, a performer. You're just like always a person that loved to talk. You were always a person that could um, naturally lead or, or grab the attention of people. You are great with numbers. You, are, you, are, you can write really well. You have a huge, incredible imagination just wonderful, wonderful natural talents and abilities that you were born with. So that's one type of skill skill set. And the other um, type of skill set is um, there are specific areas of competence or knowledge, experiences, and abilities um, that you're able to do more easier or more easily than other people, right? And, um, uh, and it's part of, and those normally are parts of what is required to get your job done. So between these, this mix of natural abilities and talents uh, um, and the ones that were learned, you know, school, um, getting education through your experiences, those, that's your basket full of your natural skill sets. And um, the current role that you have, it does not, it, the foundation of it or your everyday activities that you do in this role, a huge part of it has nothing to do what, with what's in your basket. And because of that, you're, you're um, really working on, um, in roles or in, in uh, what you're doing every day, is more part of weaknesses or you know average what you're average in and because you're not using this huge basket filled with your natural abilities and all the strengths and competence and knowledge that you um, you know gathered over your years you hate your job because you're not functioning to a hundred percent you're not utilizing your full potential and so that's number re a reason one why you um, are not enjoying your job right now second reason or reason number two why you hate your job is that wherever you work is the wrong working environment for you so the culture of the place is just wrong or it doesn't match you or it's just off put in um, you're not free to be yourself at work, um, the just the envir environment, in, and it can be parts of um, how you relate to your coworkers, how your coworkers work um, relate to you. It can also the, the culture or the working environment can also be attributed to leadership. Uh, persons that you report to are maybe they have a leadership style or a management style that is just really off-putting for you. So maybe they micromanage, and you like to be more in a laser free type of environment. Maybe it's um, just the location where it is. It's just, you don't like um, the type of building that it's in. Maybe it's um, in a basement and you feel as if you, you know, you're know you claustrophobic. Maybe um, it's just it's somewhere that's 
busy 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 and just going there stresses you out you like more a calm peaceful type of environment so it's like the entire working environment and culture is wrong for you and um, you just don't, you can't stand it just thinking about getting up out of your bed to go to this place is just you're almost having a heart attack right so it's the wrong working environment and environment mixes um it encompasses your culture it encompasses um the people leadership and the actual location everything um, is affecting you in a negative way third reason number three why you hate your job um, your job does not match up with your values so um whatever it is that you are required or you're being asked to do you're not comfortable doing it and um sometimes these jobs i'll give you an example it could be a sales job maybe you feel like how your company is presenting the product or service makes you feel sleazy like um you're only interested in the sale and not the client maybe you're not um confident about the product or the service meaning that you don't think the quality that's been offered is what should be offered maybe you don't you know you don't have any confidence in your team maybe you think it's not the right team like what it is that you guys are presenting to clients seems um, like something on the surface but deep within there's like a lot of problems maybe you work in a restaurant and you feel like the kitchen is dirty and um, you're not comfortable bringing it out to the food out to clients because you think that people may, might get sick you know there's all these different things that may not match up to your values to your value system and so as a result of it when you're performing that role you're uncomfortable and whenever you're uncomfortable in any role you cannot um, enjoy it and you cannot be um, work at your fullest uh, potential you know maximize your abilities in that role so that's the third um, reason or issue that could be affecting your love um, your you know satisfaction and your engagement um, at work number four the fourth reason why you hate your job it does not match up with your personality I mean what kind of what type of personality are you you know are you introverted or are you an extrovert um, where do you fall along the personality spectrum you know understanding that can really um, assist you in uh, matching your job right are you um, forced you're introverted but your job role requires you to constantly deal with a lot of people and while you pump yourself up and you do everything in your powers or your ability to um, you know have the energy and what it takes to deal with all you know these large numbers of people every day you're drained at the end of the day and the constant you know sucking and building up and drop you know just it, it wears you out so you just dis, you dislike it or maybe it's the opposite maybe you're an extroverted person but you're an accountant or you're doing some sort of customer service and all you see every day is just sit in a in a cubicle or a very confined space with zero social um, any type of interaction and all you have is either the computer or the phone you don't see anybody you know you know you just you're alone and that you know it's sucking you it makes you depressed it makes you down um, so all these different parts of your personality maybe you're the type of person that um, likes working by yourself but you're, you have to constantly be collaborating with people or vice versa. But whatever it is, your role is requiring you to work outside of your personality. And uh, just to make a quick note, you know, all of us have to build ourselves up to the best versions of ourselves. However, we are all unique and we all have unique requirements. So if while I can operate and I can improve certain things in my personality, especially if it's um, a part of my personality that needs to be worked on, I naturally am a certain way. I was naturally creating or designed a certain way. So working in a role that complements it is way 
easier or way I can perform better or I can be happier I can find more joy in that role in comparison to working in a role that just requires me to constantly be stretching to the point where I'm worn out so that's the fourth reason why you dislike your job reason number five and final finally guys why you hate your job your job or your role that you're playing is outside of your passion and this is my favorite 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 um, subject to talk about because I believe that nine out of ten people that I meet um, along my way or uh, along my path professionally have zero idea about what they're passionate about and you cannot find a job or operate in your in your dream role unless you understand what your dream role is you have to figure out your passion and in society we're trained to uh, kind of guess like do a guesstimate you know like an, a guess and an estimate a guesstimate about what role what kind of career we think would be great for us without really um, spending a lot of time and effort and energy into identifying that before we get trained you know we're trained we go to university we go to um, college whatever institution or sometimes we just stumble from job to job until we're in this role and it's not where we're meant to be it's not what we're meant to be doing and no matter how much you're paid no matter how beautiful the building is or how you just say uh, like it you know it's, it's comfortable and it, you know it's like you, you, the flow is great the people are wonderful if you're operating outside of your passion you cannot fulfill your purpose you cannot work at your your ultimate abilities you cannot give everything that is inside of you to give unless you're working in your passion so number five the fifth and final reason one of the most important out of the five is that you're working outside of your passion you are not operating in your dream role and you're doing so because you have no idea what your dream role is and don't feel like you know depressed or um, down or, or out there are lots and lots of resources online and one of the platforms that you can utilize is my company life compass we take you through that wonderful journey of digging deep inside of you and pulling out your passion pulling out your purpose and kind of bringing it along with what's available and the industries that align with that and helping you to discover or to clarify your dream role so that you can live your most ideal life you can fulfill your purpose you can wake up excited and jump out of bed and be like hallelujah you know i'm going to work <laughs> that's my that's my church my church um my church voice so yeah excited that you're going to do you know what you love to do and that is important 85 percent of the entire global workforce they are disengaged at work you're dissatisfied you're not happy and it's not that your your role is bad you know or your, you know your career is it's 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 like a bad or a garbage career that's not the reason the reason is you're not operating your strengths you're not operating in your passion you're you're mismatched and because you're mismatched not only are you negatively impacted the entire global workforce is being negatively impacted because you have people that cannot operate at their full potential which then affects productivity which then affects um, innovation it affects profits and it affects just the entire societal um, structure and we don't want that we want that to change we want to live into a society with people that are happy excited and you go to a restaurant the waiter is just like the best waiter you've ever seen in your life the chef is just like a dream chef um, the person your cab driver just loves chatting it's like he's so excited to go into his cab like every role and there's no role in my opinion that is better than any other of course some roles affect you know larger numbers of people however every single role job in society is important and so because every role is important everyone or every role should be filled by people that love that role people that are passionate about that passionate about that role and as a result we will see a different landscape when we you know when we exit our homes including what we 
bring to the outside world. And with that, I say thank you for joining me. And I want you to opt in to my channel or wherever it is that you're watching me. And I want you to give me your feedback. Let me know some of the um, reasons, if it wasn't uh, part of the five, why you are not satisfied, you're disengaged at work. Let me know those reasons, share them in the comments, you know, so other persons can also see it and we can all benefit and we can all build ourselves and change. And as always, you know, my purpose is to serve you. My purpose is to bring all my knowledge, my experiences, and anything that's with, that is within me or inside of me out to benefit you in a positive way that will hopefully change your life or, you know, improve your life in, um, in a way or form. So again, have a good day and thank you for showing up. Thank you for participating. Thank you for commenting and thank you for opting into my channel. Have a great day.